Hey guys, I uh, hope you're having a good day. Um, if you can't tell, I'm at home this weekend in Memphis and I'm not sick this time, which is great. It's really nice to be able to actually sleep in my own bed for once because last week I was too sick to walk upstairs. I'm really excited because uh, tonight my dad and I are going to a hockey game. We're going to the uh, the Memphis River Kings, which is, well, they're the, they're the Mississippi River Kings now, but whatever. They're the um, one of the minor teams uh, in Memphis. And I was telling one of my friends about how I was excited, and, like, I was just, I was, oh, I was so worked up about it. And she was like, I don't get why you like hockey. Like, what's so great about it? And I just, ah, I wanted to yell at her. I was just like, I don't have the time to explain to you what is so wonderful about hockey. Uh, like, I'll have to get on my soapbox and it'll be this huge long rant. But I figured that since I'm on my own time now, I'm gonna go on my hockey rant to you guys. So I can edit it to be as long or short as I want to. But the thing is, if I'm gonna go on my hockey rant, I need a quick wardrobe change. There we go, that's better. Uh, part of the reason that I just, I love hockey is there's so much passion behind it. Like, the players have so much passion for the sport and the fans have so much passion for it. It's, that's really the only way that I can describe it. Like, with, with hockey, if you're a hockey fan, there's no in between. You're either, you're not a fan at all or you are a diehard, obsessive fanatic like I am. Uh, ask any hockey fan and they will agree with you. Another thing is that you can tell that the players have so much passion for the sport. They want to play more than anything. They won't give up trying to get the Stanley Cup. That's the ultimate goal. Um, in the, uh, what was it, the 2010 Stanley Cup playoffs, Duncan Keith of the Chicago Blackhawks, he took a puck to the mouth, lost seven teeth, I believe, like seven teeth out. Uh, he went back to the locker room. The doctors patched him up, numbed up his mouth, and he was back playing in that same game. And that's just, I can't believe, I just, I have no words for it. It's amazing to me. Another thing is, it's not so much of a team as is a brotherhood. You can tell that those guys would do anything for each other. You can especially tell that when a player gets into a fight. You know immediately if one player gets into a fight, his teammates are going to stick up for him. And they're not going to let him go at anything alone. They don't blame like a loss on a single player they just don't do that it's they know that it's a team effort and that not one person can make or break the game uh especially with fights and sticking up for each other uh last year in the stanley cup finals or no not the finals the playoffs um the blackhawks we were playing phoenix and uh if you're a Blackhawks fan, you know what I'm talking about. Rafi Torres hit Marion Hossa, severe upper body injury, went to the hospital, and he was suspended for a good number of games. I don't know the actual number, but this season when we played uh, when we played Phoenix and Torres was back, all of the players for the Blackhawks were saying, "This we're winning this for Hossa. We're doing this for him." And if not, like, they weren't so much saying, like, oh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna get Torres good. No, it wasn't that. It's just we're going to win this because he didn't get to see the end of the game that he the last time he played this opponent. And so they knew they were going to try to win it for him. And another thing that's amazing about hockey is just simply the energy of the game. You can walk into a game and not know who's playing and enjoy the game because it's just, it's amazing. The crowd always has so much energy. I feel like hockey crowds are some of the best in the world, no matter what country, what league, it's amazing. Hockey sounds are just amazing to me, just the roar of the crowd, uh, the sticks hitting together at face-off, bodies slamming into the boards, uh, the, the goal horn. Uh, oh, I always get chills. Anytime I hear the goal horn and when the Hawks are playing at home, hearing Chelsea Dagger play at the United Center, I sometimes I cry. I'm not even going to lie. And it's just, it's beautiful. And hearing the roar of the crowd when you see a team captain lift the Stanley Cup after winning the entire thing, it's amazing. I don't care who has won. It could be the Red Wings or the Canucks. Seeing a captain raise the Stanley Cup I will, it will never fail to bring me to tears because you know that they've worked so hard to get to that point and it's just, oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful showing that their hard work has paid off. They have reached the ultimate goal of the Stanley Cup. 
Well, that's probably just, what you're going to see is probably going to be just part of my rant because I've been going for about 20 minutes now and so I'm going to try to cut this down to just maybe a couple points, a few highlights, so it's only a few minutes, but but yeah, I can I can really go on about Isaki. Uh, but since I've told you about what I'm passionate about, I want to know something that you are passionate about that you that you love and it's just it's amazing to you. Leave a video response or tell me on Twitter or Tumblr or anything. Like I said, my links are always in the description. Uh, I really I love seeing what people are passionate about because. I know how it feels to be passionate about something, so I know the joy that they get from whatever it is that they're passionate about, whether it be a sport or music or school or whatever it is. I want to know what you're passionate about. Well, that's it for today. Bye, guys.